Okay, so today's daf is daf kuf mem aleph in Baba Basra. As we continue on, uh, we learn for a four shleima and for a chenuko base Israel and a certain matzar v'shivia. May all the soldiers come home safely. Everybody should have that in mind every single day and say tilim for them. <laughs> Today, um, yesterday rather, we learned about the Mishnah when a man says, "If my wife will give birth to a boy, I'll give him a, I'll give him a hundred dollars." Uh, if my wife gives us, or if he says, if my wife gives birth to a girl, I'll give a hundred dollars. And then uh, if he gave birth to either one, fine. If he said both of those things, boy or girl, but then, uh, so they take, uh, uh, they take, that's what they take. Then it said, let's say he says, if my wife gives birth to a boy, a hundred dollars, gives birth to a girl, two hundred dollars. And then he gave birth to a boy or a girl. So the boy takes a hundred, the girl takes two hundred. What he said, but why did he give an example and say that, if he gives birth to a girl, going to get $200. Why, why Why? say a boy $100, a girl $200? So that's what the Gemara is going to be dealing with. Three lines from the top of the page on Kuf Memal. Why did he give an example and say, you know, uh, if my if my was a boy, a, a boy is going to get $100. If I give birth to a girl, it's going to be $200. Why do you talk about a girl getting more than a boy? Why give that example? The main of the Basa Deep Men is that would a man rather have a girl than a boy? Bamra Biochan Shum Shum Yochoi, Yoch said in the name of the Tana Rab Sh Rab Shimon, Kol Sha'ina Maniach Ben Liyorsho, if you don't leave a son to inherit you, Akarash Barhu Molev Evra. A man uh Hashem is, is angry with the person. Hashem, Hashem is full of wrath against the person who doesn't leave a son to inherit him. Now we'll explain that in a minute. Shinemar says, Vavartim is Nachla Solabito. If you have to transfer your nachla to the girl. Meaning, if he didn't, in the Pashim the mission is in the in the Pashim because he didn't have any, didn't have any uh, boys. Transferring here is also the same words as Evra, meaning anger. Shnemer, Yom Evra, Yomu. The day of Gehenna is going to be a day of wrath. So, how do you say over here if he has a boy, $100? If he has a girl, $200. Why talk about a girl getting $200 when the boy only gets $100? Why talk about that? Uh, the Rajbi says, if you don't leave a son to inherit you, Hashem is angry at you. So before we get to the answer, before we get to the answer, how do you deal with Exmar? If you didn't leave a son to inherit you, what does that mean? So the Rishash says, very simple, uh, the, the, the Ramah says, rather, the Ramah, my ancestor says, that's not if you were no sick and period of your bit. You didn't get married or you didn't uh, try to have children. If you tried to have children and all you had was girls, I can't blame you for that. Like my cousin who had nine daughters, no sons, can't blame for that. And it also could be that um, that right. So that, so that's that's one shot. That uh, if you were no second period of you, another Rashash learns it doesn't mean that he didn't have any sons. That he didn't he didn't he took away his sons. He wrote his sons out of the will, meaning he gave everything to his daughters. In other words, the, what is the lotion of, of the Rashbi? He doesn't allow his son to inherit him because he gave everything to the daughters. doesn't mean if a person tried and he didn't have any, any daughters. Last time we learned this, this uh, Gemara, there was another person here in the Shear who you all know who only has daughters, didn't have any sons. So, you know, I, I had to explain it, you know, don't worry, don't worry, you try, you know, if you try, like the, like the Ramah says, if you try, you know, uh, then, then it's not your fault, it's if you didn't even make an attempt, that's one thing, but if you made an attempt, that's fine, but the other shot is that it doesn't mean he didn't have any sons, he didn't have any sons to inherit him, like he says, like the Rishash says, because he gave it to somebody, he gave it to the girls, so the point though is, is that you should leave your inheritance to your sons, why does the Mishnah give an example and say, if I have a son, it's going to be $100. I'm going to give him $100. I'm going to give a girl $200. Now we'll get to the Indian. Can you give something to a baby that's not born, to an embryo? Can you give that or not? Pash wasn't going to see him later today. You can't. I'm a Zakal Uber car. You can't. Uh, an Uber cannot acquire. So what do you mean? If you give it to the son, I'm giving it. If the baby is born, it's $100. Uh, I'm going to give him $100. If it's a boy, we're going to give a girl $200. You can't, they can't acquire something. They're not born yet. And even... And we'll see, according to one opinion, if you give it to them now, even though they can't acquire it, even rather even because they can't acquire it, even if they were born later, they don't get it either because you can't give something to somebody who's not born yet. So we said that the Pashib Shah, the Mishnahs were speaking about a Shemira. The Rabbana made a special takan about a man who's dying that we fulfill his wishes 
and you give it to him anyway because a special rule about shkivim. But anyway, what about this question? Why give the girl more than the boy? So right. So the answer is uh, the um, so so the Gemara's answer is the Zahu. We're at the beginning like, of the uh, tenth, ninth, or tenth line on the page. Hahu in Yerusha. Um, I, I'm sorry, I, I skipped the Yom Evra Yom Hu, Hahu is part of the Pasuk, Yom Evra Yom Hu. So the answer is Le'inian Yerusha Ben Adifle. In terms of a Yerusha, it's proper to give to a son, not only that he wants to. Why? Because also the son carries on, keeps the property in the tribe. And you give your Yerusha, your, your land to your son, so the, the, the uh, Yerusha will stay within the tribe. You give it to the daughter, the daughter marries out of the tribe. Remember we said this, that they had to marry within the tribe is only the first generation, but it, that's not halacha that they have to stay by. So if you give your Yerusha to a daughter, uh, what it, either is her as Yerusha or as a gift, and she marries out of the tribe, your your land will, will go out of the tribe. So in Yerusha, ben adifle, ben yin harvacha, but in terms of welfare, bito adifle, he'd rather give it to his daughter, right? Uh, he'd rather give it to his daughter. Why would he rather give it to his daughter? So, <clears throat> so, um, so the Mephoshim say like this, Yoser, this is a Pirish Rabbi Shmuel ben Chachamon, Klomer, Yoser, Yoser, Mosei Adam Nachas Ruch and Bito ben No. Person is closer to his daughter sometimes than his sons. Shabbas Mechaberes Asaviyah, the daughter honors her father. Sometimes the daughter takes care of the parents more than the son. As they say in English, Oh, I was a son's of your son's a son till he takes a wife. Right. Your daughter's your daughter for the rest of your life. Doesn't apply in all cases. I'm not saying it applies in all cases, but the point is here's a here's a hint at that that he'd rather give to his daughter because his daughter's welfare concerns him more than than the boys. Okay, so better, better right, maybe better should have right, etc. Okay, so that's one that's one shot. So so therefore we say that in terms of Yerusha, yeah, a son is more, but in terms of her welfare, maybe he's going to give her more. And that's why the mission gives it to Shmuel Amr, Shmuel says, there's a different reason over here. Here we're talking about, and we're talking about a woman, when the case of the mission, it says $100 to the boy. If it's a two, if it's a girl, $200 to her. We're speaking about when she's about to give birth to the first, his wife is about to give birth to their first child. You know why he wants to give more to the girl? He says, you know why? If it's a girl, I'm going to give her two hundred dollars because we have a klal. Person has boys and girls. It's a bas tchila. We have this gemara in brachas also that if you give birth to a girl first, that's a simen yafel abanim. Economists some say why demar Some say because she helps raise the mother. A, a girl, a daughter, helps her mother raise the children more than the boy. She's in the house. She gives them food, etc. Angel dresses them. Economists. And some say, but this way there will be no ayin hara. Why will there be no ayin hara if the girl's there first? So again, here the Mepharshim say, there'll be no ayin hara. Why? Because if she gives birth to a girl first, if it's a boy first, he's going to get a double share. When the, when the boy gets a double share, despite the fact that the Torah instructed you to give a double share, but that's going to Cause some people to be jealous of him. Look, he's getting more. He's getting a double share. So therefore, if the if the girl is there first, right, there there won't be a problem with um. There won't be a problem with Ayin Hara. The Marsha says this. His his brothers get less because of him, and therefore he gets an Ayin Hara. People get more. They're jealous of him. Gets an Ayin Hara. That's how you get a. So therefore, that's the idea of bas chil sem I always quote that, you know, I had the girls first, I had daughters first, right, before the boys. So when the first boy was born, we had a wife and an uncle who said, oh, bas chil sem When the second girl was born, right after the, after the first girl, so what do you say now? Well, it's a good simon. It's a real good simon. When the third girl is born, oh, that's a simon muvik. This is like you say in Yiddish, gura get the simon. That's a real good simon, you know. But then the answer to that is, is what's the line in Yavamis? Banam adifa misimanim, right? There's a whole right. There's a gemara there. You could, if a girl gives birth, you assume that she's bat mitzvah. If she's not bat mitzvah, she wouldn't be able to give birth. She wouldn't be able to carry the baby to term, right? So the question is, does she have simonim or not? If she has a child, bonim adifim is simonim. So that's the answer to that. You know? Now they have boys. Forget the simonim. Uh, bonim is better. That's a line of the Gemara that you use to answer the idea of vas chil sumi afal bonim. 
Ikarami, some say, uh, so as we said, some say because she raised the Ikarami, if she's a girl, there won't be a Bechor, and therefore there won't be an Einhar. Amr Chista. When Chista said, I like, I'd like to have girls more than the boys. I'd rather have girls than boys. Now, Rajbam grapples to understand this line of Rav Chista. He says, some say, Rajbam says, this and Farshal Rav Chista, Vakeras, Kishmite, and like, oh, very good. We're talking about a firstborn. But Rav Chista says, I hope the firstborn will be a girl so there won't be an Ayin Hara with a Bechor getting a double share and all that. That's how some learn. Achaloshim Merikoma Lididi is Mash Eina Mochich. That's Mashma. He says, I would rather have girls than boys. What's around there? Venir Beinai. So Rajbam says, Shalom Niskaim, but right a little bit above the book, the Ago uh, Sabach and the Gemara, and my Gemara. The Difchir Maschil is, is, um, Amrav uh, Chisel, the D Binson Adifli. Now, you see that? The Amrav Chisel, the D Binson Adifli. Rav Chisel said, I'd rather have girls than boys. So some say he was only talking about the firstborn, because if he has a firstborn as a girl, there won't be a Bechor, and therefore nobody will be jealous of the double shells, like we say. But the Lash is not mashed with that. He says, I'd rather have girls. Didn't say it exactly like that. So he says, that um there be ain't I says Rishbam that Son Skymu Lobon he he his uh, children did not uh, survive and it was when he had boys boys didn't survive came Banos therefore he preferred to have girls more than boys but Rashbam says Velonis Yashivli Yofa Daito Shrifchista but I don't understand Rifchista so well I don't, I really don't understand Tosa says Tosa says very simple Tosa says no uh you can't say that the sons didn't survive uh, because we have many places where he had sons, Rav Nachman of Rav Chista, Mar Yenuka, Mar Kshisha ben Rav Chista, Rav Chanan bar Rav Chista, Chen Rav Mori, Rav Chintos ben Rav Chista. He had many sons. Elenir Ali, the Lachik Kamer Rashbam Tosa says this fourth Tosa is from the bottom of the page. It's Elenir Ali and Nir Lari. The Lachik Kamer Ben Sam Diflin be Barai Lefisha Hayu Chasan of Gadol. His sons-in-law were great Gadolim. Rav of Mukba Bar Chama. He took great sons. In other words. He wanted to have girls. He, he he preferred the girls more because he had great uh, great uh, sons-in-law. I mean, he had great sons also. He says, he had, he, his, his sons-in-law were the Gedole Hador. So he says, you know, I'm, I'm he so to speak, I have more nachas for my daughters because their their husbands are the are the Gedole Hador. That's the Tosis, uh, Tosis view of this line of Rav Chisa, which is hard to understand. When Rav Chisa said, I'd rather have girls than boys. Be by same up. Or you can say money or goes like a beauty. Hey, Rabbiuta. It says this, maybe this goes like a beauty. This whole idea of trying to explain why would a man give more for the girls than for the boys? If it's a boy, I'll give him a hundred dollars. If it's a girl, I'll give him two hundred dollars. Why would he give more? So maybe it goes like Rabbiuta. Says which Rabbiuta? He let Rabbiuta the Bakol, as we just read in, we're learning in uh, in Bereshis now, right? Rabbiuta Bakol says the Tanya of Hashem beirachas Avram Bakol. Hashem blessed Avram with everything. What does Bakol mean? Ramei Romer Shalohei Olabas. Mayor says. That he didn't have a girl, he didn't have any daughters. What's wrong? It's, it's a it's a blessing not to have daughters. So the portion here explain also what does it mean that he didn't have any daughters? Because if he would have daughters, they might have married the bnei Knan. right? So what's for bracha b'kach she'ain lo bashet tetzachlin as leknanim shiskalku ba'orer they were cursed <coughs> as we had in last week's parsha uh, or, or in parsha uh, in, in Noah. The gam if he if he sends in to his gang lechoran. Like large lachar and yesh lachosh she tavad of the word about a bazaar there. In other words, he would prefer maybe Avram preferred boys because the girls might marry Kananim or might marry people who were over the Avodah So that's what shot in Rabbi Yehuda. So he said uh, that's right in Rameya rather. Rabbi Yehuda time Hashem. Rameya says that he didn't have any girls, so he didn't have the problem of who are they going to marry. Rabbi Yehuda Meshahoyis Labas Uba Kol Shema. Some say that she had a daughter, that he had a daughter. In other words, Hashem Beruch Hazam Ramakal, we know he had sons, he did Sakishma, right? Everything. But yeah, the other sons later on, but he says Bakol means that he had a daughter and her and her name was Bakol. Some say, right, that Bakol is Gematria Ben. Remember Rashi says that over there. Bakol is Gematria Ben. But uh, the Pashim Shad is she that Bakol included according to according to Rabbi Yehuda, that he had a daughter. And Bakol was her name. He blessed him with a daughter. So maybe this is going like Rabbi Yehuda. When we say that, why would you give a daughter more? Uh, well, it goes like Rabbi Yehuda, who says Hashem blessed Avram Bak with a daughter. Blessed him with that. But how do you know that means a daughter's better? Amen. Shama say Rabbi Yehuda barsa nami lo chasri. To say, oh yeah, Rabbi Yehuda saying that Avram had everything. Hashem blessed him with everything. He had sons and he had a daughter. Didn't mean that the daughter's better. It just means to say that he he wasn't 
he, you know, if he only had sons, you could say, well, he didn't have a daughter. He didn't have everything. No, he had everything. He had sons and daughters, right? But th that that he that the daughter is better. Uh, what do you mean? Amos Shem said, Rabbi Yerubar said, "Lo chasre Rachman al Avram." That 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 he didn't even um, he didn't even diminish Avram or keep Avram from having a daughter. He had everything: he had sons and a daughter. Where do you see that a daughter is better than a son? We're trying to explain why would the Mishnah say you give a daughter two hundred and a son one hundred? The Tanya mitzvah lazan a sabanas. A mitzvah is not a chov. It's not a chov. In other words, the pasuk says, "Mipsar chalot tesalam." You shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't hide from your own children, from your own family. Meaning, you should support your family. And it's a mitzvah. It's not a chov, but it's a mitzvah to support your daughters. Maybe until age five, six, you have to. But afterwards, you don't have to. But it's a mitzvah to feed your daughters. Kavachom lebonim. Certainly the sons, the Aski Batora, Divra or Mayor. Rabbi Yudomer, mitzvah lazanas, it's a mitzvah to feed the sons because they're learning Torah. But Kalvachomer Lebanos, the Lod Litzalon, and Kalvachomer, you should see that you should uh, feed the daughters that they shouldn't be dis they shouldn't be disgraced. Girls will be disgraced if they're hungry and poor and can't go around and they'd have to go around begging, they wouldn't be able to get they'll be disgraced. So it's a Kalvachomer, and maybe that's Rabbi Yehuda, right? So therefore, we have several answers. Why did the Mishnah say? 200 for the girl, 100 for the boy. So we say uh, several reasons. One is, one we said is that um, for a girl's welfare, you're concerned more than the boys, right? Because uh, the girls help take care of the parents, etc. One answer is, is that we're concerned that if it's a, a girl's there first, this way that it's better to have a girl uh, be, if, if we're talking about if it's the firstborn, this way there won't be a before, there won't be a, a jealousy, an eye in her, etc. And uh, and Rav Chista said he'd rather have a girl than a boy. Not clear, and, or it could be Golan Gerbiud who said that it's a special mitzvah to feed the girls more than the boys, that so they shouldn't become disgraced. So these are all reasons why the Mishnah said two hundred for a girl, one hundred for a boy. But now we have a problem. El had a time we learned Rabbi said Yalda Zachar Nekeva Hazachar No Tel Shisha. Let's say he gave birth to to a boy and a girl, boy and a girl. The Zachar gets six six. Six means six. Uh, dinner zogs, which is really, let's say, 150 di regular dinner. Let's say, call it $150. When a caveman tells Schneiderm, she gets $50, right? One third of that. Why? But my, what, what kind of a case is that? What are we speaking about? You say a girl should get more. What do you mean if you gave birth to a boy and a girl, the boy gets 150 and the girl gets 50? What's in that? But my Omar Vashi, I said this for Afkana, but Misaris, when a person inverted his words, he said two different things. The Omar, First, he said, if a boy is born first, he's anticipating possibly, uh, you know, twins, right? Um, and he said, if there's twins are born, if the boy's born first, he gets 200. And then the girl, if the girl comes afterwards, she gets nothing. That's what he said first. Then he said, but then he said, well, if the girl's born first, she's going to get 100. And the boy, and the boy comes afterwards, he's going to get 100. So he said two different things. Now, we're not talking here, Lachari, what about Tfos, Lush, and Risha, and Lush, and Achron, right? We said, apparently, maybe he said them simultaneously, so you're trying to mimic him both. Whatever the reason is, we're trying to figure out what he meant. The older Zachan came and she gave birth to these twins, a boy and a girl. We don't know which one came out first. So he said, first he said, if a boy's born first, 200, a girl, nothing. Then he said, if a girl's first, 100, and a boy first, and the boy's second, 100, uh, also 100. So what do you do? So, right, we don't know which one came out first, right? So, Zachar Shakalmana, the, the boy will certainly get $100. Why? Because whatever he said, if he was born first or last, he gets at least 100 Because he said first, if a boy's born first, 200 And then he said second, if a boy's born last, he gets 100 So, 100 he gets either way. So, he gets 100 for sure. But, Manav Shach, Edech Manav, what about the other 100 Having Manav, the Suffolk, the Hulk, and you split it. Why? Because if the if the boy was born first, he gets the whole two hundred, and she gets nothing, according to the first thing that he said. According to the second thing that he said, if the girl's born first, she gets a hundred too. She gets a hundred, and the boy gets a hundred. So we don't know who was born first or last. It's a suffix. So either she gets nothing if you go by the first thing that he said, or she gets a hundred. And 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 the man also is a suffix on that hundred. Did he only get the 100 like the second way or did he get 200? So you split that 100, therefore he winds up with 150 and she winds up with 50. I have a of time, what about this one? Yoldas are keva and Lolomoto. What about this? As another Bryce says that if he gives birth to a boy and a girl, if she gives birth to a boy and a girl, she only gets 100. And whoever, right? Yoldas are keva 
there's, there's only a hundred between them. What does that mean? What, how does that work? He said, right, where, how does it work? Um, you might think there's 200. Um, even though there's 200 there, he's talking about 200. Still, he says, no, you only get 100. What's the case there? Um, here we're talking about not where he gave the money directly to the child. We said before that only works because it's a shibmara, or it's a special case, even though it's a bari, according to the Ferris Israel says, even if it's a bari, because over here, the husband feels, the father feels very close to the child. So there's a special case where he can be mezaka to the son, to the baby also, even though the baby's not born, because the baby's past 40 days. So the baby's considered already like a, like a person, even though normally mezaka lub is lokana. But in this case, he said, no, it's not speaking about, uh, they're speaking about the Umar b'ma vasreni. Vasreni means, who will inform me? Who will announce the child? In other words, he was out of town. He says, whoever comes and announces that I'm going to have this child, I'm going to give that person money, not the baby. And Vasreni, the Tanya, on the base, the Tanya, Vasreni, but my nifta rachma shalishti, whoever gives, whoever announces to me, gives me the good basura, the good news that uh, what my wife gave birth to, what, what, nifta rachma, what was the pet rachma that she gave birth to, whoever brings me the good news, im zachar, if he tells me that the child was a zachar, he tells he's going to get $100. Yol to no tomana. That's what he's going to get. And as whoever announces to me and tells me that my son had a boy, I'm going to give out cigars and I'm going to give him $100. Okay. Let's say he says, whoever announces to me that my wife had a girl, I'm going to give out cigarettes. <laughs> uh, in the keva, mana, yolda in keva, no tomana. Yolda zachar, let's say he gave birth to both. Ain't lolma, it's only $100 there. I have a zachar nekev, but he didn't say zachar nekev. He said, whoever announces to me a boy, I'm going to get this. Whoever announces to girls going to get that, $100 in each case. Now, the answer is no. The Amr Nami im zachar nekev, and Nami yitol mana. He said this. He said, look, if my wife, whoever announces to me that my wife had a boy is going to get $100. Whoever announces to me that my wife had a girl is going to get $100. Whoever announces to me that my wife had twins, a boy and a girl, is also going to get $100. You also will get $100. So, so, what what is he in what is he saying? Why don't you just say whoever tells me my wife gives birth? It's either a boy or a girl or both, right? Or boys, whatever. But the, money to his wife. Right, right. What what's the other option? Why say if she gives birth, whoever tells me it's gonna be of a boy, I'm gonna give him a house. Oh, that was a good girl, gonna get a house. Whoever tells me both, gonna get a house. So just say if my wife gives birth. Yeah, you know, what does that come to exclude? The mute nefo. For Khmalaslan, she miscarried, and you're not gonna get anything. That's what he means to exclude. It's got to be a boy or a girl, or a boy and a girl, but not a nafo. If you just say, uh, whoever's going to tell me that my wife, you know, gave birth, if it was a, uh, that, and, and, and it was, God forbid, a miscarriage, then he's not going to get anything. It's got to be a boy or a girl or a boy and a girl. And therefore, uh, we're talking about a, a Ben Kayama. Ben Kayama, pardon? Boy or a girl or a tumtum or an androgynous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be a boy or a girl, right? That's the question. We said tumtum and androgynous would not necessarily get, right? Okay. It doesn't get the money. Right, doesn't get the money. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So now we come to the next piece in the Gemara. Now we're going to go back to the issue of how can you give it, how can you give it to a baby anyway? Baby is not mazaka. Ahu, the case. How the Amal of a man told his wife, the Chosei Lahai I'm going to give my assets, I'm going to give assets to the one who you're pregnant with right now, to the embryo, to the baby inside inside you. Amar Afuna, have a mazaka over. You're trying to give something to an ober from a zakula or lakona. It's not a child, and the baby's not a baby yet. It's not a baby till it's born. Mazakula or lakona. That's Rafuna Shita. And uh, Rafuna said it's not kona, as we'll see later on. Rafuna holds even you can't be you can't, you can't acquire it now, and he can't acquire it even after the baby's born because you're giving it to him right now. You you get you're making like a Kenyan, so to speak, right now. Even if you give it by a third person, you give it to the mother on behalf of the child. But the child's not here right now, so it doesn't work later on either. So, Acer of Nachman Rafuna, well, what about our Mishnah? How do you say, you say that doesn't work? Rafuna says, Mzakalubilokana, we pass in that way. Acer of Nachman Rafuna, what about our Mishnah? Our Mishnah says, Haomer, im yolda ishti zacher, im yolda ishti zacher, my wife give birth to a boy, you told him I'll get $100. Yolda zacher, no, told mana. Right? How does that work? <laughs> the baby wasn't born yet. So Rafuna says, you know what? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand shot in the Mishnah. I don't know who learned that. I don't understand who learned that. Says the Gemara, the Why didn't he tell him? Why didn't Rav Nachman say to Rafuna, 
right? Uh, I don't know who learned the Mishnah. What do you say? Why don't you say it goes like her mayor? The Omer Ada Makta or something, Makta, something which isn't here yet. And not just that, Rav Rajbam, there's a lot of Rajbam, Rajbam in the wide line, the beginning of the wide line. I'm not going to learn it inside, but he says over there, it's not just that. <laughs> Rafun himself holds like her mayor, right? He says there, Rafun holds like him, right? Rafuna Karav, Rav like Rabbiana, Rabbiana Karabhia, Rabbiya, Karebi, Rabbi Karmeya, Ramea Kablozmanyak, Lazmiak, we're gonna be given Dama Adamak never shall all them. So why don't you say it goes like Rame? Why do you say I don't know who learned the Mishnah? Say it goes like a mayor. Marzaimad of Shama Slay, the Rameyer, Lid Dover Shiashna Baolam. Rameyer says that you can mack Dover Shabol. Let's say I'm giving you the fruits that are gonna grow on my tree. The fruits aren't here yet, right? The tree's in the middle of the winter, they haven't grown yet. But you're giving it to somebody who's here. Right, you can knock the dover. You can give something which isn't here yet to somebody who is here. Well, the dover shein the bolam misham is like he doesn't say you can knock the dover shalom, and the uber is not considered bolam. He's not here. In other words, it's not just I'm giving something which isn't here to you, and you are here. Here he's trying to give something to a baby who's not here yet. But lay mele maybe goes like rabbiosi dom or uber kani. Maybe it goes like rabbiosi. You want to know where Mishnah goes? Like he said, I don't know who learned the Mishnah. Maybe it goes like rabbiosi. Rabbiosi says that an uber does acquire the tanan. Listen, it's uber post of Lena Mach. What are we speaking about? A man is a Kohen. He marries a woman who's a Yisraelis. She's, she's come for her father's Israel. Can she eat Truma? Yes, she can, based on his, based on him. Let's say he dies and he left children, Kohanim. She can eat based on them, right? If she has children who are Kohanim, she can eat them. If, 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 she, if he dies with no children, right, and there's no children, she can't eat truma anymore, only while she was married or whether she has children. That's Allah in the Torah. Let's say she's pregnant when he dies. When he's pregnant, when he dies. So the halacha here is, is that um, the uber, the uber in the baby, the baby before, he's only becomes a coin when he, when he comes out, when he's born. While he's inside, while his mother's pregnant with him, he has halacha like a czar, a non coin. And yet, he acquires the truma. Let's even if there's other brothers. Let's say he had two other brothers who are already alive, and now she's pregnant with this baby. This baby has a share. Let's say there's no bechor. Simple case. There's two other brothers. There's a girl. And there's two uh, brothers, and this is a third brother who's not born yet. So he acquires some of the assets, all the assets, the food in the house, the truma, etc. Part of it is his. He has a third of it, right? He has a third of it. And yet, because of that third, the, uh, the the mother can't eat truma. Why? Because he's, he's a czar, and he owns part of it. So part of it. She's got, she's got two brothers. So, okay, so she so has two. She can eat from that. Yes, but he, but but he has a share in that too. He has a share in that too. He owns part of it, so she can't eat any of it because she only, he owns part she, of it. She eats it. Here. She, not only not only her, but the avodim. They have avodim kananim. That's what he's talking about. Uh, an uber posel. He apostles, because he's a czar, he apostles them from eating truma, the mother and the and the slaves, whoever's there, and he can't give it to them yet. Uh, he can't give it to them yet because he's not born yet. Now, what do you see, though, from this? That the Uber acquires it, even though he's not born yet. So maybe it goes like Rebiosi, who says that even an Uber could acquire it. It says, shiny Yerusha, that's different. You know why? Because the Yerusha, you're not mezaka to him. You're not mezaka, you're not giving it to him. Right. It's automatic from the Torah. So Yerusha gets it automatically. In other words, he arshens it right away. Even while he's not born yet, he still has a share in it. That's different. So we're still trying. So so therefore, uh, therefore, Rav Huna said, I don't know who learned our Mishnah. How do you acquire, how does a baby acquire it? A baby can acquire it. Even if you're like a mayor, that you can give something to somebody, you can give something which is not here yet to somebody, but this guy's not here yet. Maybe it goes like a Biosi, it says the Uber Khan, he only acquires it as a Yerush, because the Yerusha, that's automatic. But if you're giving it to him, you can't, that doesn't work. But Lay Malay, so why doesn't Rafuna answer answer Rav Nachman and say, Lema, maybe it goes like Rabbi Yochman broke in our mission. Remember, you have Rabbi Yochman broke and says, you can give it to one of the sons, you can give everything as a gift to one of the sons of Chris Rush. It doesn't make a difference if Yerusha Matana. You're saying Yerusha does work. But Rabbi Yochum Meroka says, make some of the Yerusha or Matana. You can, of course, give everything away while you're alive. You can give it to the church, give it to the shul, give whatever you want, right? But Rabbi Yochum Meroka says, you can give it as Yerusha also to one of us. It's not Rabbi Yochum Meroka. He says, Im Amr al Misha, Roy Liarsha, if you give it on somebody who's fit to inherit it, Varav Kayamit. So maybe that also means you can give it to some, to a baby who's fit to inherit it. 
Same with the Shamsa Rabbi Yochum Abrokel, a Dabr Shish Molam. Again, Rabbi Yochum was only talking about to somebody who's here. You can give it to one of the sons. You have 10 sons and you want to give everything to son number seven. You could do that. That's Rabbi Yochum Ben Sheet. You can give it as Yerusha, not just as a gift while you're alive, but give it as Yerusha to one of them. But that's if the baby, if the number seven is here, all 10 sons are here. Maybe that you can give it to somebody who's not here yet. How do you know that? So maybe the blame of Rabbi Yochum Abrokel, he maybe goes to Rabbi Yochum the Sava Kerbiosi. Maybe Rabbi Yochum Broka goes to what you can give it as the Yerusha, and, and that you can give something to somebody, uh, to one of the sons as the Yerusha, not only as a gift, and he also like Kerbiosi, you can give it to, even to an Uber, because Rabbi holds when it comes to Yerusha, you can give it even to an Uber. Says me aim it a That's a that's a big jump to say Rabbi Yochum Broka holds like Kerbiosi. Malay, Malay is up. Okay, so how does how does how do you understand the Mishnah? How does our Mishnah work? It doesn't seem to work. It's not. A, it's not. The baby's not here. He's he's not born yet, and therefore a Yerusha would work. Okay, maybe Rabbi Yochum Goku says Yerusha is like a gift, but then he'd have to hold like Rabbi Yossi. Who says he holds like Rabbi Yossi? The lay Malay Mavasreni. So maybe it's maybe our Mishnah is not speaking about a case of giving it to the child at all. Maybe you're talking about a case where you're giving it to the one who announces the birth of the child, like we had at the top of the page. That I'm going to give hundred dollars to whoever announces to me that uh, that it's a boy or that it's a girl or that it's a, or it's both, right? So maybe that's what the mission is speaking about. Maybe you can't give it. Ziyachid the kani sefer, but the safe, What did the mission say? Mission said, if I if my wife gives birth to a boy, I'm going to give hundred dollars. If it's a girl, two hundred dollars. And she gave birth to a zochar uh, or an akeva, so the zochar gets hundred. The girl gets two hundred. Gives birth to a tumtum, but a tumtum is not a boy or a girl. Goes, we're going like our mission. Like, remember, we're going like the town of our mission, Shimon Gamliel, who holds that the Tumtum is a is a third gender. That's not the way we hold Lamaisa La Halacha. We said that it's either one or the other, right? So, so in that case, you get it. If it's a if it's you're not sure what it is, so you'll give him the hundred, not the two hundred. Then it says, whatever my wife gives birth, whatever gives birth to should get the hundred dollars. Then the tumtum gets two. And then it says the main shem yorish elu he's the only heir. Then he takes everything. So we're talking about giving it to the baby. The main shem yorish like back in our gemara he yochid the tani seifa. The main shem yorish elu he's the only heir. Right? He gets it elu. In our my gemara it says elahi, but it could be that it's missing in the print. What does your gemara say? The last five lines from the end of the page, elahi. So Michael, you asked this yesterday. Yes, yesterday, Tumtum the Mishnah said, Tumtum calls it who? who? So I'm not sure if it's a misprint or, or or the Gemara thought of your question and says, well, wait a minute, if we don't know what a Tumtum is, if it's a third gender, why are you calling it who? Yeah. Right? Uh, here it says he, but I think it's a misprint. Anyway, Elohim. It would be Yoresha. Yeah, right. Anyway, Elohim, right. Yoresha. Yeah, yeah, Yoresha. Okay, right. So it's probably a misprint. Anyway, if you're talking about giving it to the person who announces the birth, he's not a Yoresh. You're talking about giving it to a child. The child, if it's a boy, it's a girl, it's a tumtum. They say, if, if, if he's, I'm, I'm giving it, I, um, if he's, the, 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 even though the tumtum doesn't get this gift of 100 or 200, right? He doesn't get that. But unless he says, whatever my wife gives birth to, no matter what, he doesn't say, he doesn't say boy, girl, or he doesn't say whatever gender he gives birth to. And then he says, if, ancient Yorish, if he's the only heir, then he gets everything. What are you talking about? If we're talking about Vasraini, there's no, yo, he's not a Yorish, he's just the third person. Oh, so maybe it's speaking about, it's speaking about where he gave birth already, where she gave birth already. Maybe our mission would says, if it's a boy, I, like, I'm out of town. I don't know what she gave birth. I heard she gave birth. If it's a boy, I'm giving him $100. If it's a girl, $200, gave birth already. So it says, Whatever my birth gives birth to in the future. Mishnah says, Whatever my wife gives birth is the future. So you can't say that. You can't say she gave birth already. You can't say he's given Masrani. So what are you going to say? Belay Malay at the top of Cookman Bay's. Belay Malay. Why does he say to Omar Likshatele? Oh, maybe it means this. I'm giving it to him, to the baby now, but I, it should only be how when the baby's born. You can't give something to a baby now, right? If you want to give something to an unborn baby, you can't do that. There's no way to do that, except by Yerusha, let's say, right? But you can't give it to you can't give it to them. But maybe you can give it to them for when they're born. The answer is Rafuna Tame, Rafuna goes according to his reason. Rafuna Lokana. Even if when she gives birth, because since you can't give it now, you can't give it to Bichal later on. Dom Rav Nachman, listen to this. Rav Nachman says, If you try to acquire something for uh, unborn for an embryo, you're not acquired. And Rajbam says, 
Rashbam, different Yamasal Likshatelit Kona, about five, six lines down in the narrow lines. Afagav the Pogram, Nachim by Mocha Paris, Dekel Chaver, the Omar Afmi Shabol, Olam Yachal Lach Serbo, Edom Makdav Shalom. Rav Nachman himself says, not like Ravuna, you know, he says, you can't give something, uh, you can't give something, I'm going to give you the, I'm giving you the fruits uh, that are going to be, that are grow later on. Even, you can't do that right now. And even when they grow later on, it doesn't work. It doesn't mean when they, when they, when they're going to be, when they're going to grow, I'm giving it to you then. That doesn't work. That's Makdav Shalom, it's not here right now. Hacha Gabayur Bermoda, the Choshev Lek Sheshem Ba'olam, he's considered in the world because he is, he is in her belly. He is there right now. So Rav Nachman says I'm zakul below kana, but like shetele kana. Rav who knows after like shetele low kana, not considered. But Rav Sheisha somewhere echazev echazek kana. So we have a three way machlokas. Rav Sheisha says you can give something to an uber. We don't hold that way, right? We from Ram say it's mashli holy kavon zakul below kana. But Rav Nachman disagrees with Rav Huna, and he says that um, he says that. Uh, you, if you said lekshetele, then it would work. But in this case, he didn't say that. The case was Ahudomer. We started this case by saying oh, a man told his wife, "I'm giving the inachasim to you, the, to the one who is you're pregnant with right now." Avuna says that doesn't work. And uh, what about our Mishnah? How do you learn the Mishnah? He says, "I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how to learn the Mishnah." So we said by a special exception. But Avuna says, "I can't. Under, I can't explain the Mishnah." Uh, unless you, and, you know, unless you say maybe it's sigma to shchemer or it's just bad the case. But the pasuk chat is that Rav says I can't explain the Mishnah. The question is why didn't you learn this way and that way? Doesn't go like Rameyer because even Rameyer holds that makna uh, v'shalvolam. But that's list list li somebody you can makna to somebody who is here. You can makna v'shalvolam to somebody who's here. But here the baby's not here. Rav Nachman says though if the baby is in the belly. And you say Liksha Tele, then it would work. Rafuna says it wouldn't work even like Shatana. All right, we'll pick him for you tomorrow. Om Rav Sheshis will explain more about this idea of, mak, of um, being mak, being a Zakalober, uh, a Zakalober that it's whether it's Kona or not. <laughs>